Hey there, Stock Holiday here to help you cool down a throttling laptop without repasting. For the record, I am a certified computer tech that also happens to be a radio personality. Strange combination of skills, right? First, a disclaimer. Don't attempt this unless you know what you're doing. I'm going to share my experiences that help me, but anything you do, you do at your own risk. So let's get started. I bought this MSI GE67HX laptop for my wife last year. It's well equipped with a 12th Gen i7 Intel CPU, 32 gigs of RAM, and a smoking NVIDIA GTX 3070 Ti. When I say smoking, I'm not kidding, it runs hot. The entire laptop out of the box would idle in the 70s and quickly throttle during gaming sessions after exceeding the 95 degree threshold that MSI has set. So here's what I did to tame this laptop and make it a great performing non-throttling machine. First, you hit the delete key on startup get into the bios when you do it'll look like this but know that msi has hidden some advanced settings which will give you more control over the cpu and thermal management what you need to do hold down the left alt key the right control and shift keys plus the function 2 key when you do you'll see all kinds of fun options appear under the advanced tab including some power and performance and thermals that you would normally have access to you can then customize your cpu thermal configuration the key area is the cpu power management control. Once you have everything set up with optimal thermal cooling, save and exit. Back at the desktop, download and install Throttle Stop. I'm currently using version 9.6, link in the description where you can grab it. Once it's launched, you'll have to OK the disclaimer from Tech Power Up that you know what you're doing at your own risk. Then you'll need to do the following. You'll want to check the Disable Turbo option, then click Turn On. Note that you should not check the taskbar until you've tested all your settings to make sure they're stable. Otherwise, you risk a blue screen loop on startup if there are problems. I've seen a lot of people online saying that has happened to them. Next thing you'll want to do is adjust the TPL settings. Uncheck the disable controls and then turn down the long power and short power options to 135. Then click OK. Next, hit the FIVR option and adjust your CPU core and CPU cache settings. You'll need to check the unlock adjustable voltage options on both. Then what I've done, I was able to set my offset voltage to minus 100.6 on both and have a stable system. And note that you have to have identical settings for both the CPU core and the cache settings or you will have problems. One additional thing I do is I go into the MSI center and I go to user scenario and make sure it's using the extreme performance mode. And then I hit the little gear icon and set cooler boost to always be on. You can manually set the fan curve if you prefer to keep the fans quieter when not gaming. I've done that. I've had good results. I also bought a laptop cooler off Amazon, and I've got a link in the description if you're interested. And no, I don't get any affiliate money. It's just there as a reference for you. So now my wife's GE67HX idles in the 30s, and her maximum gaming temps are around 80 degrees Celsius. As always with laptops, your mileage may vary as every machine is different, but this completely fixed her throttling issues. Now she's got a great machine, and she plays games like Satisfactory and some other rather taxing games that, that really do uh, require a pretty strong CPU and GPU and has, has no issues. Frame rates are really great. As always, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll help as I can. Have a great day.